My understanding of swim history is experience. My, I'm 53 years old. My understanding of swim history goes back to Mark Spitz and 72. And in his seven Olympic gold medals, nine total considering 1968, it all it also goes back to Weissmuller, Johnny Weissmuller, and Buster Crabb from the <laughs> golden era of Hollywood, only because as a child, I watched Tarzan and Flash Gordon. And buddy, I am jealous. You found this piece of history that is, this is, this is, you found narrative gold in, in, in Charles Daniels, this underdog story, America's first Olympic gold medal. Uh, yeah. So when you found this, when you found this, you know, did you know in that, in, in that moment, so nobody's written this book. It's like, did you know in that moment, oh, I'm writing this book? Well, well you know what? So I found it doing, we were doing some work on the 1904 Olympics, which was the third Olympiad. And, and that was in St. Louis, which is where I'm from. And we were just doing some history stuff. We were working with the uh, International Olympic Committee to get a Olympic ring sculpture at Washington University, because that's where the track and field was. And we thought we'd do some research on some athletes there. And, you know, track and field was the main focus, but I thought, you know, they had swimming. Let me, let me just see what's there. And I came across a guy named Charles Daniels. Now, if you ask me who Charles Daniels was, my idea was a hat and a beard and a fiddle, right? You know, and uh, I said, gosh, you know, this guy won the first gold medal of swimming. I said, that's kind of interesting. Third Olympian, you know, I just assumed that the United States has always been amazing in swimming because we're just that good. Um, and then it, it's, it's like you dig a little deeper and you're like, gosh, you won five medals here. Then you dig a little more and it's like, wait a second, this guy invented the freestyle, it, it invented, excuse me, invented the freestyle. Like that was actually invented in, in the last century. And uh, then all this stuff started coming out. And once I saw the, the structure of how we were so bad at the time, only about a dozen pools in the entire country. Nobody swam. The freestyle wasn't yet invented. England and Australia and Europe were just dominant. I, I was, oh, there, there's, there's something here. And what really tipped it into, I, I definitely thought it would make a great article. What really tipped it into the story was when I started finding nuggets about his family history, about his dad kind of being the Bernie Madoff of the day and them getting thrown out of society. And he basically had to use swimming to, to you know, redeem his family name. And he dealt with anxiety and all kinds of stuff. And then I'm like, oh, this, this checks all the dots for, for all the uh, you know, big moments that you want in a book or you know, that you always go to the underdog movies to see. And uh, yeah, then, then that's when the hairs on the back of your neck prick up. And you're like, oh my gosh, how does nobody know about this story? And it was just so much fun to research and write. 